Hey guys, Richie150 here, welcome all back. As you can see from this screen alone, that's a goblin hood egg. And you know what that means. I have taken out a goblin. Goblin hood is very good. Nah, I'll keep it goblin hood, it's very close. As you can tell, I got some few eggs. I also have a new team member, Professor Oak. Yeah. And apparently, the Goblin Hood is what I needed for the Sun Palace. Which, for the Sun Palace, you know about that, um... Here, let me just show you. You can activate fire orbs. But his is fiery shots not ignite which means he can shoot his bow with flaming burning passion in order to unlock it so oh wait hold on is there actually a secret over this <gasps> there is no no i want the goods okay maybe from the other side <laughs> what Oh no! Yes! I got 500 gold! Yes! Hello, goblins. Any last words? No? Alright then. I could just dodge these guys. But, that's no fun. Okay, we got a goblin warlock. Which are weak against Stabby Stab. So all Goblins are weak to Stabby Stab. So that's pretty good for me then, I guess. Because Professor Oak can do both. And as you can tell from Toxic here still being in my team. There's a reason he's in my team. These two are actually, um, feed off each other's health abilities. And this guy has Revive. Now if you don't know what Revive does, I can revive a fallen team member. I believe. Revives target. Or heals target, I mean. Uh, that it was like... Oh well. But yeah, imagine this. My little friend here is Bite. Which heals himself. Now just imagine that. For a moment. If I have Toxic, which heals at the beginning of my turn... And Professor Oak and the team, and him. It's gonna be, it's gonna be too OP because each turn I won't be losing any health really. They'll just keep regaining it. See, I regain health thanks to the power of Life Channel. But each turn I passively gain health if Toxic's here. I think you're the one threat I have right now. You can do fiery arrows. See how much damage that does. Nom nom nom. And it does bleed. And I like doing Tidal Wave because it does damage to all three instead of just one. Poison Bomb. Yes. Actually, Armor Break will be pretty good right here. Oh, it only did the one. I can bite again. Or I can do Cyclone. Which will help out quite a bit. And a Tidal Wave. Mass Restore? No! Stop this! I was close to winning! You'll both be punished for that. You get to watch your friend die. Body slam. And he's gone. Any secrets up here? Look, Ma, I could go in that tree now. Yeah, there are squirrels. 
Two, three, four sets of goblin ears. That should be enough for at least two more elixirs. So he's ripping off the ears of goblins. It's another one of the alchemists, and it's the one we saw in the blue caves. It's got to be the one who angered the goblins. Huh? Another one of you? No, you're n you are the same one as the one before, aren't you? Yes, don't deny it. You're the one who defeated my Minotaur champion. Hold on here. Did you just say my Minotaur champion? And I used quite a fine elixir on that one to turn it. Monster keepers, you're all just simpletons. No eye for the bigger picture at all. Monsters aren't your friends. You pretend to be their guardians even though you are actually their jailers. And for what purpose? Just for the solution of peace and order? You have no idea how they could be used as tools for anarchy and chaos. I'll let loose my monsters on you and show you trouble before all stains. What's an all stains? Oh wait, is that his name? I'm sorry. Yeah, let's test out my theory here. See? Auto heal. I'm gonna give everybody buffs the first round. I was ready for this or not. But see, I get health each turn. The two are protected. But the chance of poisoning all three of them will be pretty good. Which I just did. Sweet. Let's hope this does armor break on all three. Now I can either do full unity or shroud. But I need some of my health up. And I also need to start doing some damage here. He's trying to get rid of my bat. Okay, he's bleeding quite a bit. So I need to get rid of him as soon as I can. Are you weak too? Fire. Uh, let's see. Oh, you're weak to water, bro. Oh, I could do another bite. And he's got. He turned into a Minotaur! <laughs> My bad. Mini Tar, not Minotaur. Mini Tar. So he is blue 3. Uh, you wanna do. Do a slime shot. That way it does slightly more damage. I know it doesn't do much, like it did zero, but at least poison. Doesn't look like I'm doing any damage to these guys anymore, to be honest. Let's try to go for this guy. Oh yeah, yeah, this could be a while. Yeah, they're losing weed on everybody. So I'm glad I chose the health build right away. Mm. 
I think he's the bigger problem because he's doing really well. I don't know if I'm just making him more powerful though. I think I'm just making them more powerful. I gave him 14 something, I'm worried. You gonna be able to instant kill somebody? No? Then what are those charges for? Keep whittling away his health because he's the one I'm doing with three damage. Really? It's not gonna do anything? Oh, it's because of all those shields he has. There we go. And hopefully, that. He has a lot of bleed, so he should. Yes, there we go. He turned into a tree! Oh no, I forgot the tree's gonna do that too. My own strategy used against me. Okay, slime volley. Probably not. No, I need him. Let's do it on him. Let's try to get this guy weakened. He's easy to heal, huh? Oh. Actually, now might be a good time to use the Shroud ability on everybody. Uh oh, I'm proud this happens. 
Heal magma up. Okay, magma. Show them your true power. Try to get this guy down. No! Stop bullying my caterpillar! No pay for such insolence. And he still has one creature while I still have three. He gets an auto shield for that. Let's take out one of his. Oh, come on, he can already attack right away. No, Magma, Magma, no, Magma's dead. Time. Metabat. User Ignite on the Minotaur. Use your bite on the Minotaur. You know, if he takes out my bat, I still have my healer here. Because I need to keep Metabat alive, because he's the one that can do the most damage here. Alright, Professor O. Let's do another slime volley. Firestorm. Life channel. Yes, I took out his mini tar. So far, so good. Alright. I think we're gonna win this, guys. Because they can either wipe it out with an ignite. We're just him with a firestorm. A little bit of acid tempest. Little rain. You'll surrender, Alchemist, and you will scream. You'll tell me what I exactly want to know. Burn the tree! can this be? Oh, of course. You have the Spectral Familiar on your side. Without it, you'll be so much weaker. I didn't even use Toadsley. <laughs> anyway, just because you defeated me doesn't mean I gotta come with you. <laughs> this is why you'll never win. Julia! Hey, who's that stranger? What's with that weird ominous getup? He's the reason why the goblins are acting up. Oh, I guess it's time for me to run. <laughs> Quick, after him! We should hurry as well. We can't let him get away like that. Eh, eh. Oh wow, goblins are very advanced, to be honest. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me. Eh, eh. Okay, let's go up here first and see what's up here. 
there has to be something good up here. Like... Never mind. There's only, uh, people coming to charge at me. Ooh. Hold on. One second. I don't know. Thank you for the free meal. Um, before I fight these, I'm gonna do some skill points, okay? Alright, guys. I defeated those goblins. Nice table. Wait, what? Oh, looks like I had to come here anyway. An ancient woods key. Sweet! So I didn't waste my time at all. So I was supposed to come this way eventually. I'm just glad I went this way first. Now my question is, how did the goblins nail these together? I landed right on him. Uh, very back then, I guess. Hey guys! So I'm back, and I defeated some more goblins, and I got the goblin brute and the goblin warlock egg in one battle. Sweet, let's hatch him. Looks like I'm going to do out some skill points real quick, though, guys. Alright, let's continue on, guys. Are you kidding me? He, he was up here, not down there? Gah! What is this nonsense? Release me, you foul beast! Don't you know who I am? I am Ustanes, one of the ancient order of alchemists! Looks like the goblins have caught him already. Serves him. Right. What's happening here? Did this guy get caught on his own? Who is he exactly anyway? Well, let's just say the goblins want to keep their ears, so they're going to rip him to shreds, and we're going to watch. He's a member of an old order of alchemists. It seems like they want to cause chaos in our sanctuary for whatever purpose. An alchemist? In our sanctuary? I heard stories about them. But I had no idea they were still around. Well, I guess we better put him in chains first, and then we can find out the details. Don't worry about these goblins, they'll listen to a high-ranking monster keeper like me. We'll put this guy in prison cells of the Stronghold Dungeon. You should come there later. But first, you have to deal with the Goblin King. Goblins don't really listen to reason, so you have to deal with him the old-fashioned way. I would have loved to do this myself, but duty comes first. And I'll make a bad example for you, Ruki, if I neglect my own responsibilities. Alright then, see you later. Goblins, let's put this criminal where he belongs. I can sense a monster of great power behind this door. That must be the Goblin. Let's take him on. Are you kidding me? So, let me get this straight. He was up here. Not down here. Up here. Let's check out what's down there first. Whoops. Oh, now I finally have two pages. Oh, <laughs> he's all alone. That's kind of sad. Actually... Ah. Cats. I was hoping he was the one we needed to, um... Get that giant stone moved in the blue caves. Hold on. What is over here? Eh. No. Oh, this area just keeps on going. Let's explore a bit before we take on the big baddie himself. Oh, I can't get through here. Looks like I could have. Secrets, huh? Let's check this out, guys. Oh, I just was on him. 
I'm gonna let Blobbo do this, because he deserves it. He's been a faithful partner to me for ages. Let's check this out. What's over here? A champion! Well... Don't know if I'm ready for this. Radunog. I can't really see that letter right there because my recording software is right there. There's a particular charm as an elemental shift trait. Whenever it attacks, it will change its resistance and weakness according to the element of its attack. Which means that it could have any elemental weakness or resistance. Choose your party wisely or else I will beat you with a stick! Magma. Professor Oak. And I'll go with, um... Yeah, I'll go with Mad-Eye. Sustain, level 3. Life channel. And now we'll begin with an Ignite. Twirl in level four. Heat shimmer. Never heard of that one. Oh! Almost took out my creature in one hit. Definitely want shield level two. Acerain does no damage right now. It's been buffed up. Okay, I'm starting to do this to you. But. Yeah, bring Toxic in. Gemstone Rain. Whew. He's absorbing my- oh no, now I can heal too. No. Bad. Did I even do damage on that one? I have weakness 3 on it. And it's still... And it's still surviving. I have to hope on my burning stuff to do damage now. Fire attacks do more. Sweet. So it looks like none of my attacks here do anything. Let's just keep adding some more of these. I guess. There we go. Yeah, we'll go with the Ignite. I don't think I'm really doing much with this guy. Switch for probably. Wait, hold on. Let's see if it does any damage. It's so microscopic damage that you can't really tell. Yeah, I might want to switch him out later for um, Toad's Lee so then we can get some real damage done. Just do shield too. A little sprinkle of acid rain. It's very low damage, but it's getting there. I'll uh, cut to the part where it's getting pretty weak. Don't worry, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. Looks like he's pretty weak now, and the best part is. Toadsley here does more damage now. Let's do a slime shot. 
burn chicken. We did it. Ooh, we got three feathers. Sweet, we took down a champion monster. Now what was it guarding? Horizon Beach? Wow. Howdy and good day to you, young keeper. You look like you've been traveling all day. Why don't you stop for a moment and take a rest? This little establishment you see before you is the monster farm of the sanctuary. Never heard of it? Wouldn't be surprised. We're a bit off the beaten path, so most stronghold folks never come around here. Anyway, if you got too many monsters and you're losing track of a lot of them, this is the place to go. That's the whole point of our farm. There's no charge, no matter how long you keep your monsters here. You don't get anything from me either, though. So no eggs. Just to let you know, since some folks seem to mix our farm up with the monster army. I don't keep us think very much of that monster army either, by the way. More like a monster daycare. We get enough space to roam around and all, don't you worry. I'm gonna leave Mole Bear. Okay, I actually need him. But I don't need the other two. You've been with me since the beginning, Blobby. I can't do it. I can leave the Tanuki here to cause trouble. And the Monk, too. This guy's been with me. Okay, and I'll leave um, the Yeti and another Troublemaker, I guess. There we go. Oh, look at them. There they all are. Oh! Sweet. Hey, young keeper. Do you feel that monsters in the air as you already explored pose no real fight to you anymore? I can change that for you if you like. I can raise the minimum level for monsters across the sanctuary. This will increase the level of monsters in areas that you already explored in the past. It will be based on your keeper rank and rise automatically with your rank. You can always come back to me if you want me to undo this change, sending all monsters back to the original levels. Because I'm an all-powerful wizard that can magically cause every creature to evolve rapidly in level power. These changes have no impact on your own monsters levels or the level of monsters hatched from eggs. Monsters are currently at their original levels. Would you like me to raise the minimum level of all monsters? Sure. Oh no, that means the Sun Palace too. I done goofed. Oh, it's so beautiful. Water! Look at all this water! Oh, day at the beach. Nice. It's your old home, buddy. It's not polluted anymore, see? You can live in peace. I created that. Don't you forget it. If you guys don't know, the lore is that Toadsley created the bodies of water. Oh, I can't go in the house? Wasted time. Oh well. Oh, there's a way down. Interesting. Well. Anything up here? You know what time it is now, guys. I had a relax. It's down here. What are you guys hiding? Did I just see a chest? I did. Can't reach it, though. Oh! Just a few hazelnuts. It's down here. I think we'll explore that some other time. Alright guys. I forget how to get up there already. I think I did.
Oh, now I can reach that chest. Claws, too. Oh, wait, here we go. This is how we got up. Ah! No! Fine, whatever. I wanted to go on the left side, but I guess that's not an option. Alright, guys. Now to face the Goblin King. Anybody home? Oh. You're a lot shorter, your highness. Oh, it's a 3v1. I was expecting a 1-on-1. One on one. Okay. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. Definitely life channel right off the bat. Shroud. And full offense. Ah, using my own attack against me? Huh, what's going on? I like how it said miss for him. I'll try to take out his little buddies first before I take out the champion. Let's do a little bit of Cyclone. Because if I take out his buddies, he has no one to heal him, especially this guy. I should probably have been aiming for him because he can do mass restore. Not my bad! You leave my bad out of this. Hit KO this guy though. Let's do that. No, he's using Master Storm. <laughs> All my hard work is gone. At least you get poisoned again. Look at him, he's like, Zombie, zombie, zombie. He looks like he's wearing a hard hat, to be honest, guys. fence on him. And this should be enough to take out both. Er, I meant him. I didn't do the bleed on him. Yes, use poison bomb. Don't use the other thing. Keep attacking him now, guys. The cyclone's gonna take out him. So two champions in one video. We found the monster daycare where you can't get eggs like Pokemon daycare. So that's a difference. Why are you using Earthquake? Won't, won't all these, uh... Let's just try to get his armor broken or something here. There we go. But won't Earthquake shake all these nails loose and cause us to fall to our deaths? Wow, he's really... Nightwing is the MVP right now. <laughs> Against goblins. Like, I'm serious. He, he has to be the MVP because of how much damage he can do. He does more than Toad Slate. Like, look at that crazy amount of damage he can do. Because of all those buffs added. Okay, Nightwing, you're definitely staying in my party forever. Jewel Blast, that's a new one. Eh. Let's just use a healing wave just to get the combo up. There we go. And let's bite him. Finish strong. Oh, he looks so disappointed at the end there. Ascended to Keeper Lancer! 
Another champion down. I hope that the ancient woods will be more peaceful now. Now we should go back to the prison cells in the stronghold dungeon. Let's see what information they got out of the alchemist. Well, that was quick. Oh, I almost missed it. I would have got. I got a cape three, and I would have lost out on money. Oh, oh, there we go. Hey guys, I just defeated your king. Now let's explore down here first. Let's see what's down here. Secrets? Oh. Parkour? Not a fan. At least they put that one down there. This one's a lot nicer than that other one I had to do. To be honest. Which is kind of sad. I want my flyer back. <gasps> Glow bugs! I've been looking for you guys! I don't care. I'm going to try to battle these little glow flies. Because I want one. So I'll catch you guys after a few battles, and I'll meet you back at the stronghold, unless I find something cool around here. <gasps> oh, by central. And I also got a glow fly, hey guys. Sweet, and a crystal shard from them. So now I know where to go to get these things. Oh, without the glow flies, it turns pitch black over there. Uh, catch you guys back at the stronghold then. Alright guys, I'm back at the stronghold. Behold! It is me! Oh, that reminds me. Since I'm here... Oh, look, there... There he is. And there's somebody new i never seen before. Oh. Thank you. Stand tall. That's the Keeper Dragoon, Eric, over there. That's a man. As Keeper Dragoon, he's the only one rank array from the highest rank in the order. Keeper Master. They say he spends almost all of his time in the wilds patrolling the sanctuary. Most people in the sanctuary have never even seen him. But we've all heard the stories. I could take him. In 20 years. Hello. How you doing? Don't mind me barging in the middle, you know. Uh, so, talk to me. Good job on bringing that evil dueler, Keeper Lancer. Julia told me all about it. Sounds like you'll be making your family proud, Spectral Keeper. Julia also told me about the problem with the Goblin King. You did take care of him, right? Yes. Yes, very good, Keeper Lancer. The Ancient Wood should be a safer place now. Why wouldn't I take care of the Goblin King? That was my mission to begin with! Let me introduce myself. I am Eric, Keeper of Dragoon of our Order. Yeah, the Jailer already told me who you were. You don't need to introduce yourself twice. I came to the Stronghold when I heard rumors that Alchemists have been spotted. Oh yes, I know that this masked person belongs to the Ancient Order of Alchemists. So does everybody else. Although, I don't know much about them other than that they once came to the sanctuary and caused some trouble. I'm afraid nobody in this sanctuary knows more about them. That's why I came here, to interrogate this alchemist. So far, I've only found out from him that the alchemists are the reason why there has been so many champion monsters. The alchemists have perfected a formula for an elixir that can turn a regular monster into a champion monster. The alchemist was in the ancient woods to gather ingredients for the elixir. Other than that, it appears that we are in the dark for now. Mm -hmm. You have found a library deep within the Stronghold Dungeon. And the Keeper Novice Will found a book with more information about the alchemist? Tell me about it. Interesting. Wow, I spoke fast. I need to commend you for doing such a good job. You are quite extraordinary, aren't you? I rank you up one more time. But I expect no less of a Spectral Keeper. Now let's try to find out what this alchemist knows about the leader of the alchemist, Marduk. Marduk? 
How do you know about him? It seems that like Will found just the right information. Tell us, Alchemist, where is your leader, Marduk? Is he hiding somewhere in here? Yes, he's behind this very wall that I'm trapped behind. In this jail cell. Remember, if you give us the information we need, we might just decide to spare you and give you back your freedom. After we dealt with the other alchemists, of course. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you, since it won't be of much use to you either way. You're indeed serving Mardu, the one and only who has guided our order from the shadows for more than 300 years. He's heading nowhere else than the abandoned tower. That's impossible. The abandoned tower has been sealed for hundreds of years. It's true. He sends us our orders through magic, and if he wishes so, he can leave the tower too. But it makes for quite a useful fortress for him. <laughs> That's strange. I'm not sure if we can believe him, but at this point, we have no other choice. In case you don't know, name, the abandoned tower is closed and can only be opened by all four spectral keepers together. But that wasn't enough. Its interest lies beyond the mystical workshop which is filled with some of the most dangerous monsters. So old Baron Santa has an evil workshop where he keeps the strongest monsters. I see. And the key of power is also required to open the door to the abandoned tower. The key of power was hidden by a Keeper Master more than 400 years ago. So basically what you're telling me here is Marduk's been alive for 300 years. And it's been only 400 years ago. So he locked himself in, and he can't get out. Got it. Nobody knows where it is. It could be just about anywhere in the sanctuary. The alchemist found a way to break through the magic barrier of the sanctuary. Your leader might be immortal. You can't put anything past them. So perhaps Marduk is indeed hiding within the abandoned tower. Search for the key power, so that we may gain entrance to the abandoned tower might be our best bet right now. Besides, on your search for the key, you might find more clues about the Alchemist and their leader. However, I will stay here to continue watching over the Alchemist. The single one, in the cell. Because I find his clothes very fancy, and I would love to have that belt on. Who knows how many Alchemists there are in the Sanctuary. They could come at any moment to break him free. So wish you Godspeed. May you find what you search for in the Sanctuary. All the eggs, all the evolution items. World domination, all that fun stuff. Judging from this, it looks like he might be our only prisoner for a long time. Because I don't think any of these other cells are going to be used. Judging from game design of the area. Well, let's show you what a Keeper Lancer can do. Um, let's go this way. That means you're not a beginner anymore. Do you treat Toadsley properly? He's always served me well. Yes, Mountie Dad. I treat him well. Ish. Just, just don't look at him, okay? He's doing good. Oops, that's not the right one. Right here. This is the online arena. You need to have the rank of Keeper Lancer to enter. I entered. This is a line arena. You may fight against other keepers from all over the online world here. If you want, I could show you the current leaderboard of the online strongest keepers. The monster team needs to be consistent of six different monsters. Oh, cool. And you can make start matchmaking, private game, whatever. I have a friend that I'm going to battle on here. Hopefully we can record it and have some fun. I still see that secret door. Um, let's show you what items, and then that'll probably be the end of this video. Because next we're going to explore some more. Whoops, wrong button. Next, I want us to explore the beach. Come on. Hopefully the beach has something. Well, mostly the beach is underwater, so I think I need a creature for that first. Oh, and there seems to be a spot I missed down here, so we'll check that out. Um, I can't go here without speed or something. Sun Palace, I need help with the puzzle, because something's not right. Maybe we'll explore this area next. Well, we have two choices. 
try the beach again, guys. Or explore the snowy place for now. Cute little blob. Give me just one moment, guys. Here we go. Talk to me. Aw. Want to upgrade some monster armor? So now I can upgrade even more powerful stuff. Sweet. But anyway, guys, this has been Richie One. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you guys all later. See you for now.